Speaking of best friends, if yours happens to have four furry legs, it can be difficult to catch a candid oh, yeah. snapshot. Oh, yeah. like kids. Yeah. <laughs> Just run around. <laughs> and stay with me for a second. I'm talking about dogs, not kids. And our resident animal lover, Ross, is up in the bay with some tips on how to capture the perfect picture of your pooch. <laughs> in San Jose. This is my buddy Blue, and we are talking about taking amazing photos of your pets in three minutes or less. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Ross. So you have eight great tips and tricks for photographing dogs? I do. So in this day and age, we all have a cell phone on us, and they have amazing cameras, but the real question is, would you hang those photos on your wall? <laughs> not, certainly not from my phone. All right, so I'm going to give you some great tips on how you can take better pictures, whether it be with your cell phone camera or a professional one. Awesome. Love it. So what's the first tip? So the first thing is, we're doing a photo shoot all about your dog, right? So let's do it about them. Let's find what their personality is and what makes them shine. So at Hilarious Town, we like to ask our clients, tell me three things about your dog that really makes them who they are. And that could be anything from like, oh my god, my dog loves ice cream, or they love digging holes in the sand. So we'll do whatever it is <laughs> they love familiar. doing. <laughs> yeah. but we all know that they have a lot of energy, like this guy. Yes. So what's the best thing we can do to get the wiggles out? The best thing you can do, especially if you're going to a new location is to arrive a little early so that they can um, get a walk in, play around a fetch, or even just let them sniff around so that they can get acclimated with the location. And what about lighting? Is that pretty key to the whole process? It is certainly key. So when it comes to photography, lighting is very, very important. And especially if you're using your cell phone, the best thing you can do is go outdoors and find a shaded area just like this to photograph it. <laughs> you said, I'm sitting on your lap today. I want to be the first time. <laughs> so um, you mentioned like a, a cell phone is is it camera specific or will any camera work any camera can certainly work um, it just depends on the quality you're looking for and if you're trying to hang a photo on the wall um, it could be beneficial to use a pro grade camera to do so okay and what is the best angle to capture the shot the best angle is just like we're doing we're sitting down at his perspective and we're seeing the world at his angle so the best thing to do is kind of lower your angle get down on the ground and see the world through their eyes all right and what about treats we know a lot of dogs love treats. Yes, is that part of the process? Especially yet? blue here. Um, <laughs> so, and other than just treats, it's important to know what motivates your dog. So okay. it could be food and treats um, or squeaker toys. Sometimes the parents are enough motivation too. So Wonderful. And we all know that patience is probably key here too, right? We're not dealing with humans. These are little yes. four-legged friends after all. Yeah, so patience is very, very important when it comes to working with dogs. I mean, they don't speak our language and they don't really know what we're asking them to do sometimes. So I mean, the photo shoot's all about them, so work on their timeline. If they need a little bit more time, just be patient and let them have it. Great. And your final tip? Uh, yeah, so the final thing is when you're looking to line up your photos, just keep the frame simple. Um, you want to kind of make sure you're not shooting into something where you have a bunch of trees or light posts that could possibly be sticking out of their head. <laughs> I mean, here, babe. You are getting excited. Well, thank you I so think he's much, ready for Michelle. Some photos. Yeah, I was gonna say. Now that we've got these tips and you got this great camera here, I'd love to try and get get you your close up here, Blue. Yeah, you want to give it a try? All right. I'll take his leash. You got his leash. Blue, babe. Here we go, Blue. Bye.